Welcome to Samurai Gaiden, the educational web series where I, Richard Schaefer, talk about the stories and anecdotes of the men and women of Sengoku Japan and the events that shape their lives. If you've ever played a game or watched an anime that has samurai in it, you're probably at least vaguely aware of Date Masamune, one of the most popular daimyo in modern media regarding samurai. So today, let's talk about some of the stories that make Masamune such an interesting person. Now, Masamune's life is full of interesting stories. Because even though he came on the scene in the later part of the Sengoku period, he was definitely a unique and interesting individual. Masamune was the son of the daimyo of Rikuzen Mutsu, Date Terumune. You might remember him as being one of the men who received the Teru character from our first video on Ashikaga Yoshitoru. Uh, Terumune was married to Mogami Yoshiko, the daughter of neighboring daimyo Mogami Yoshimori. Uh, the Date clan was descended from the Ise clan of the Fujiwara, who was sent to northern Mutsu by Minamoto no Yoritomo for thanks and helping in the Genpei War and in the wars with the brother. To get an idea of the situation the Date was in, they were surrounded on all sides by other clans. Soma, Atakayama, Ando, Kasai, Ashina, and the aforementioned Mogami clan. Masamune was a brash, arrogant young man who was married and had led troops in battle by the time he was 15. In the year 1584, Terumune decided to retire from the daily life of being daimyo and plan to install Masamune on the throne. It sounds like a good plan. Retire from your job at the age of 41, make your son rule, it's really not a bad idea. However, there are a few concerns that had to be dealt with. First of all, the clan elders didn't appreciate Masamune's brashness, among other things. They also thought he was unfit to rule for a physical reason. Now would be a good time to mention that when Masamune was a child, he was afflicted with smallpox, which damaged his right eye. It is said that the eye was so badly damaged that it actually hung from the socket. During a council session with clan retainers, one of the elder samurai remarked that Masamune could not be a war leader. What if you got into a duel and the enemy grabbed you by that loose eye? Masamune responded by laughing, reaching to his face, tearing the eye out of the socket. He then casually tossed the eye to the elder. Better keep an eye on you. Another theory is that Masamune's trusted retainer, Katakura Kojuru, was made to gouge it out in protest of the elder's accusation of his inability to fight. However, this story is both believable and dubious for the same reasons. You see, the relationship between Masamune and Kojuro has been romanticized for years. Not to say that Kojuro, also known by his proper name Katakura Kagatsuna, wasn't a trusted aid of Masamune's through most of their lives. So the romanticization of their closeness makes the claim of Kojuro plucking the eye out dubious. At the same time, plucking your own eye out is incredibly painful and nerve-wracking, so having someone else do it for you would be preferred. Still not a great thing, but preferred. So if Masamune had to choose someone he trusted to cut out his eye, Kagatsuna would probably be the preferred person. So, fearing having any more eyeballs thrown at them, the clan elders were on Masamune's side. Just one major obstacle, Masamune's mother, Mogami Yoshiko. You see, Yoshiko felt that Masamune was too brash and openly claimed that he was unfit to rule, seeing as how he was now missing an eye. Yoshiko wanted Terumune to retire in favor of their younger son, Date Kojiro. Terumune didn't seem to favor the idea, so Yoshiko decided to take matters into her own hands. She attempted to poison Masamune. The story goes that she prepared Masamune dinner one night, and for whatever reason he didn't eat it. Whether he was suspicious or just not hungry is not known, but apparently he fed the meal to his hunting dogs, and one of them collapsed and died. Masamune, ever the diplomatic sort, marched up to his mother's chambers in the castle and executed his younger brother. That bad. His mother responded, by packing whatever she could carry and fleeing to her brother's castle in Mogami lands. Come on by again next month when we'll be discussing, well, why not tell us what you want us to discuss? Post in the comments your favorite samurai that you'd like to hear about, or even an event that you'd like to know more about. Ukita Hide, Saito Dosan, Naoe Kanatsugu, maybe the Battle of Sekigahara, the duel at Ganryu Island, or even the story of Otake Raisuke, the founder of Tenshin Shoden Kakori Shinto Ryu. Whatever or whoever you want me to talk about, 
Put it in the comments below and let us know. I'll talk about anything samurai. Anything samurai. Let me know what you want to hear about. Masamune was a brash, arrogant young man who was married and had led troops in battle by the time he was 15. In the year 1584... <laughs> 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 <laughs>